math stinks. Is that fact or is it opinion? Let's do another one. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 23rd. Is this a fact or an opinion? Here's another one. Mrs. Gaylord is the best English teacher at Agora. Fact or opinion? Be careful how you answer this one. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> Last one. Donald thinks Daisy is cute. What do you think? Fact or opinion? So how do you think you did? Let's go back and take a look at these again. First one, math stinks. Well, you know, there are actually people out there who love math, so this would be an opinion because it's not 100% accurate all the time. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 23rd. Well, this seems like a pretty good fact, doesn't it? It seems like, uh, you know, February 23rd's a date, but wait, what's, it, what's that X for? Abraham Lincoln actually was born on February 23rd. He was born on February 22nd. So while this seems like a fact that could be verified, it is one that should be checked. Okay, so this is a fact, yet it's what we call an untrue fact. It's not an opinion. Uh, it's something that can actually be proven true or false. And that's what facts are. They're something that can be proven true or false with no ands, ifs, or buts, no questions about it. Opinions, on the other hand, they vary. Okay, let's look at this one. I'm not going to answer for you. Hopefully you guys got the right answer on that one. And then the last one. This was actually a trick question. How did you guys do on this? Donald thinks Daisy is cute. Be very careful when looking at anything that mentions thinking or believing or assumes or says because those tend to be trick questions, okay? Donald thinks Daisy is cute. Your opinion is right here that Daisy is cute, okay? Not everybody might think that Daisy is cute, but the fact is that Donald thinks Daisy is cute, and that's a fact. We all know that Donald thinks that. Okay, so you have to be very careful because sometimes you'll be tricked. And the same thing goes for believes. Donald believes Daisy is cute. Donald says Daisy is cute. Anything that has says, believes, where it's really hard to dispute what somebody is thinking or saying or doing in their own minds, okay, that would be a fact unless you can prove for some reason that it's untrue. No matter what their opinion is, Okay, Daisy is cute is definitely an opinion, but Donald thinks Daisy is cute makes it a fact because we all know he does think she's cute. A hint to this is to just make sure that you're looking at your sentence's main subject and verb. Okay, and our main subject here is Donald and the verb is thinks. If you see, again, it thinks, believes, says, assumes, those types of words, be very careful. Make sure you're not being tricked there. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about fact versus opinion. Does everybody know the difference? So let's see. A fact is a statement that can be proven with historical analysis, artifacts, data, or measurements. It can also be disproven. Keep that in mind. A fact is something that can be, pro be proven right or wrong, true or false. An opinion, on the other hand, is a statement that cannot be proven to be true 100% of the time. This is something that may vary depending on the circumstances or the people involved. So let's look at a few more. I want you guys to think about these, and I'd like you to take a second to just pause the recording and write down one, two, three, four, and five. And then after each one, I want you to write whether it's a fact or an opinion. Take just a few minutes to do that. Pause the recording and then come back. Okay, so let's let's see how you did. Whoops, you know what? We actually changed that. Oh no. Okay, fix that screen. Let's see. Okay, I think that peas are gross. What do we think that is? If you said that it's a fact, that is true. It is a true fact that I think that peas are gross. If you just saw peas are gross, that could be anyone's opinion. There's no proving who said it or that it's true 100% of the time. Okay, but the truth is that I, Mrs. Gaylord, actually, peas make me gag. I think they're one of the nastiest foods on earth. So, yes, I think the peas are gross. That is a fact. Number two, carrots are better than peas. Hmm. Well, again, this might be a better 
matter of opinion on this one. It doesn't say I think, it doesn't say I say, or you believe, just carrots are better than peas. This is something that can be proven right or wrong depending on the person saying it. So this one is definitely an opinion. Number three, my mother says that peas are good for you. Ah, there's that keyword says in there. My mother says that peas are good for you. I don't believe her. However, it is a fact that she says it. So that we're going to circle in red. Dan thinks that Brussels sprouts are worse than peas. Oh, well, he might think that they're worse than peas. And it is a fact that he thinks that. Okay, but that is his opinion, not somebody else's. Okay, so notice the opinion comes after the thinks that or says that. Okay, last one, Emily's carrots are tastier than the ones that Dan grows. Poor Dan, I bet he doesn't believe that. So if he doesn't agree that her carrots are tastier, that means it's something that can be disputed. That makes this last sentence an opinion. Did you get them all right? Hopefully you did well. Okay, let's move forward. How are you on fact versus opinion? Do you get it? Do you got it, dude? Or are you over here with Jamie Lannister? Huh? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, looking at facts and opinions and informational texts. We're going to go back to the week 26 CR that you guys actually just did. We're going to read the first two paragraphs. I want you to be on the lookout for facts and opinions. Parents have a lot to be concerned about today. They carefully supervise time spent in front of the television or at the computer and shuttle children between school and extracurricular extracurricular activities. One thing parents should not be worried about is vaccinating their kids. Still, the debate rages on. A growing number of parents are choosing not to vaccinate their children. While there are legitimate reasons not to vaccinate, including certain medical conditions that compromise immune systems, many parents are objecting to vaccination shots for philosophical reasons. The real culprit undermining the public safety is a baseless claim that vaccinations lead to autism. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is take a few minutes just to look over and make sure you can recognize the facts versus the opinions. Okay, let's take a look at it now. I've highlighted all the facts in red and the opinions in green. Parents have a lot to be concerned about today. Well, that actually could be a matter of opinion. Some people might say there's not a whole lot for them to be concerned about. So while this is true that parents may have a lot to be concerned about today, some people might not agree, or they might not agree on what parents have to be concerned about. Some people might actually say, oh, parents have it easy now. They don't have to worry about you know, wild animals. They, you know, Kids are pampered. Kids are baby. Kids have everything they need these days, all the safety restraints in cars and whatnot. Uh, we're overly careful, some people would actually say. But uh, again, that's a, purely a matter of opinion. If you were actually a parent today, you probably know you've got a lot to be concerned about. So this is the first sentence is an opinion. The next sentence, let's look at that. They carefully supervise time spent in front of the television or at the computer and shuttle children between school and extracurricular activities. Well, for the most part, this sentence is either a fact or an untrue fact because some parents do supervise their kids time in front of the TV or at the computer. A lot of parents do shuttle their children back and forth. However, the word carefully thrown in there is a matter of opinions. Some parents might not carefully supervise, they just keep their eyes out for certain things. Sorry, I'm killing bugs. And that's a big old mosquito. Okay. One thing parents should not be worried about is vaccinating their kids. Well, there are certain parents out there that definitely think this is a worry and it's something that all people should be concerned about, yet there's not agreement, so that would be an opinion. Still, the debate rages on. This is a true fact because there is a debate. People don't agree. This is a fact. Looking at the next paragraph, you can see most of this is all fact. It's something that if you were to read the headlines, read the newspapers, read up on this topic, you will know these things are true. Looking at the very last sentence, the real culprit undermining the public safety is a baseless claim that vaccinations lead to autism. Well, this is, again, an opinion. He's saying the real culprit undermining the public safety. Uh, you might believe this, or you might believe that this isn't what's causing people to freak out. There are a lot of different reasons that people look at vaccinations, and the vaccinations leading to autism might be one opinion. But look at this word in here, baseless claim. This is, this is a loaded 
loaded phrase right here, baseless claim. He's basically telling, saying that all of those people who have suspicions about vaccinations and their connection to autism, uh, their foundings are totally baseless. Yet if you were to search the internet, you will find there have been studies done that seem to link and show uh, connections between vaccinations and autism. Most of them have been disproved, yet there are people out there that say that these weren't done fairly or correctly. So this is what leads to the whole thing being a debate and people holding different opinions. Hopefully this is making sense to you. And again, watch out for those keywords, words like baseless or words that really are loaded and they, they really make big judgments. Uh, when you're looking at tests, the words all or none, like nobody likes pizza, that word right there tells you that can't be true or everybody loves school. You know, not everybody loves school. So that's going to be one of those loaded words. Be on the lookout for those. So now we're going to come back into the classroom. Now that we've discussed a bit about the difference between fact and opinion. We're going to come back, we're going to look at another example of how facts and opinions can be used in an informational piece. You know, it seems a little strange to use opinions in an informational piece, but there definitely is a time and a place for them. So come on back to the classroom. If you have any questions, make sure you've jotted them down. Come back and we'll move forward. Thanks everybody.